All right, here he comes now, an Australian-born actor who stars as Patrick Jane on the CBS series The Mentalist. Please welcome Simon Baker. Uh, Did you want to get a good look at us when you came out? Oh, I, I just wanted to see the people showed up. I yeah. see. <laughs> just check it out. Hello. Michael Caine. How come I don't look as good as you? May I? May I try? Yeah, yeah okay. Here we go. Let's take a look at you on these. This is what happens. Get ready for the close-up, and here it is. Well. Um, wow. They, I mean, work, they work really well on you, actually. They do? Yeah. I can't tell because they are really strong. <laughs> I thought they were too. Yeah, you, yeah. you thought they were just for vanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for vanity. <laughs> well, it's been go. a while since we've seen you, Simon. Uh, I think it was 2002 you were on the show. Wow. Nine, seven years ago. Yeah. What did yeah. we do to so upset you? Yeah, you well, stayed away for seven years. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It, was, it certainly wasn't you, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, that leaves me. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I've seen in the movies, and I've seen you, of course, on TV, but Devil Wears Prada, what, what, mm -hmm. what kind of a film was that to work on? What kind of a film well, was, I mean, that? was that? What do you mean by that? What well, kind I of a mean, film was that? There you were surrounded by all these beautiful models and all these beautiful women, and... Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> That was great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, you know what's very weird about shooting in Manhattan? I mean, I've shot a couple of things in mm -hmm. Manhattan, sure. but we were shooting on uh, Fifth Avenue, uh, and there's a scene where I'm, w I'm walking down the street, I've gotten out of a cab, mm -hmm. and... We had the camera a fair distance away with a long lens, and it's just me sort of walking towards it. And I'm standing out there waiting, and one of those double decker tour buses pulls over. Yeah. Some of them are like, Hey, Brad Pitt, what are you shooting? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd take that as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> no, no one ever said that to me. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little embarrassed. Oh, and, they, and then they yell action, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Where's home base for you, Australia or L.A.? or? Well, home's Australia, but, uh, you know. I, I, well, you do shooting. Where are you raising your children? Let's ask that. In Santa Monica. Oh, ah, nice. Okay, good. Good. And how old are they now? I have a 15-year-old daughter that's uh, 16 in August. <gasps> 15 years old, 16 mm -hmm. in August. Is she going to be driving a car? Uh, she thinks she is. <laughs> That's She's kind of sort of angling toward that. Yeah. But, uh, Do you give her driving lessons? Not yet. No, not we, yet. Have, we don't even have the permit. <laughs> wow. And I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm, my wife and I sort of feel like uh, it's very important to drag the process out. Yeah, drag you want her to be as old as possible. Take mm -hmm. as long as you can. So you're, you're shooting the medalist, of course, is over. I think the finale's yeah. on tomorrow night or tonight. The, or the finale's on tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And so what do you do during the whole summer? Or are you starting shooting the next uh, series already? Well, I am. No, no, no. I don't start shooting until the uh, middle of July, uh -huh. the next series. But I, um, I'm shooting a film at the moment, in, uh, which is nice because I'm not on every day. I mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. it's spread over, over a couple of months, so I'm in the process of doing that. And uh, called The Killer Inside Me, which is uh, based on a Jim Thompson novel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jim Thompson wrote The Getaway. Mm -hmm. He wrote um, The Grifters. Yeah. Is that shot in LA as well? Or are you no, it's being shot. That's actually being shot in uh, Santa Fe and, oh. and uh, Oklahoma. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Yeah, it's a period 50s sort of five. So, do you bring the kids like on the weekends to you know see these places, or do you just keep them? I'm home? not going to bring them on the weekends because they're still going to be in school. Right. And my hiatus for the show doesn't line up with my kids' summer break. You've got to do something about that. <laughs> first of all, you're the sexiest man on TV. I think that's. <laughs> How did, how, did you, how did you segue into and that? No, I, but what know. I'm just saying is you've got a little, you've got a little leverage. Does that give me authority? The sexiest man needs to have the hiatus match up with the kid's school break. That's all. <laughs> Do you want me to negotiate this for you? <laughs> Yes, please. You know, I can, you know I can do that. Right? And you know, I think I think you'd be very good. I, I would like very, you to do that. I'm a good advocate for other people. Yeah. How, how did you feel being named the sexiest man on TV? Uh, I thought it was hilarious. You know, I'm, uh, Regis I'm, was outraged that you knocked him out of the running. Yeah. Yeah. I was really close. <laughs> you, I'm sure. I'm yeah. tenth, I think, on the list. Uh, so, no, I was I was a little. Uh, mm. You know, I was a little. Yeah, I was embarrassed. I think I, I, I think I was probably sexy when I was in my twenties, and I am. I'm almost forty. It's like. What did your wife think? Well, I, actually, the day I had to go off and do the photo shoot for it, which was like, 
really difficult. You go through your head, okay, I've got to go off and do this uh, sexy photo shoot. <laughs> you had to think sexy thoughts. <laughs> no, I'm not going to think sexy thoughts with some sort of photographer looking at me going, yeah, that's sexy. I'm not, it's, not, it's not my... This is not my cup of tea. I don't know, Kelly. But what no. kind of a pose did they put you in to accentuate your sexiness? <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Can you what did they want from you? Can you recreate we the photo shoot? <laughs> we, <laughs> we have to go through that once in a while just for publicity pictures, but we hate the photo shoot. Yeah. We hate it. Posing in front of a still camera. Yeah. So what sexy pose did you did you take? Uh, <laughs> mate, uh, uh, we want to incorporate. You're into killing our me. I'm not, you know, I, I do these talk shows pretty well, and now I'm just stumped. I'm gonna. Get, you know what <laughs> I'm gonna do? Stumped. During the we're gonna take a commercial break. During the break, I'm gonna get my Polaroid from backstage. We're gonna recreate the photo no, shoot right here. We'll talk with the winner of Survivor, Talking Teens. The finale to the highly rated The Mentalist show uh, occurs tomorrow night on CBS. Now tell me a little bit about this guy. Is he a mind reader? Can he read people's minds? Or what makes you a mentalist? Well, a lot of people think straight away that a mentalist is someone that has some, some sort of psychic powers. Yes. He doesn't have powers, he has learned skills. He's uh -huh. just someone that is, has uh, a high acute level of observation. He's able to read people, he's able to, mm -hmm. I, I, in, a, in a technical way, you know, it's right. basically join the dots, you know, a, bit, a little bit of guesswork thrown in. Right. He's a disarming character because he's not, uh, he, he's sort of non-judgmental. Is he ever wrong? He's wrong. Often. Once in a while, yes. Right? He's wrong, right? Is, Every now and then. I think is, that's what's nice really about it. Are there people that do this for a living? They oh, yeah. read people? Yeah. Totally. And do they do work with the police in, in solving cases? Uh, I know that the police use psychics at times. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they but, obviously but do. in the world of my show, right. my character, we don't believe in psychics, right. per se. Right. My character was a fake psychic. Have yeah. you learned how to read people playing a character that reads people? Yeah, look at it. Read us. Read us right now. <laughs> I don't think Go ahead, Big Shot. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> She's blowing uh, in my ear. Uh, uh, yeah. Read what does that mean, mentalist? Read between the lines. I don't need to. Look, everyone can see <laughs> what. You guys are an open book. There is a character in the show that you're looking for, right? Right. Who you think... Yeah, uh, my character suffered uh, an enormous tragedy in his life. And uh, 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 the character is a lot of fun and... Um, cheeky and flirtatious and all of these different things but he's quite a tragic character at the same time like mm -hmm. he, he, he's he he is vengeful and he wants to find the guy that killed his wife and mm -hmm. child and uh but he balances it it's not a, it's not a it's a uh, you know I'd rather let the audience enjoy it. I, I don't like to explain it away, but, it, but it's not a dark, dark, heavy show. No, but understand. it is a dark character it that, a that dark uses character. a sense of humor in a in a brave way. To and you're thinking get on maybe life. this guy could be it, right? So uh, you're interrogating people about. So yeah, it. we're tracking Red right. John. Red okay. John is his name. Take a look at this scene from tomorrow night's finale. Mace, I see you care for both of them, and I can see that you're lying to me. That's a bad idea. I got nothing to do with this. Please understand something. I have a very deep personal interest in this case. I'll do whatever it takes. I will have you framed for murder. I will torture you. I will kill you myself if I have to. Whatever it takes. Come on, this is on tape. Control your man there. Cut some slack. Look, he's just playing the guy. He doesn't mean it. Doesn't he? You know what Red John does to him. He can't think straight. He would do all that he said and more if you let him. I won't let him.